Hi guys, Laura here. So uh, during this quarantine, I've decided to redo my kitchen floor because I've wanted to do this for a while, but it's gonna be very time consuming, but it's been driving me crazy. Look, it's, I don't know if you guys can see this down here. It's my floor. It's like linoleum tiles and it's all, here, let me just take a seat. <laughs> it's all chipping, look. Um, and it just, it looks terrible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to take this off. That's not gonna be super fun because they're stuck. Some of them are stuck. So I'll have to figure out a way to get them up. Um, but it's really a two day job because I have to take off the floor and then I have to let like fix any major gaps or anything. And then I have to lay the floor the next day. So, uh, yeah, that's my project for the day. I'm not looking forward to it. I have water heat and uh, th these rads right here. It's an, it's an old house, so the water heater is all paint chipping off and stuff, but, um, or the water rad, I should say. But getting around these pipes uh, are not going to be fun. I'm not looking forward to that, so I have to cut around there, but everything else should be not too bad I, I, I think uh, I guess we'll see I have to move everything out uh, and then start taking off the floor so I thought why not share it with you guys because I'm doing it anyway and uh, yeah this is part of my I have to stay at home and I'm losing my mind and I need a project to do so this is the project I'm tackling all right well I gotta clear out this kitchen let's get started so there were two annoying things about clearing out the kitchen. The first one was we couldn't get the kitchen table out the door without having to take the legs off. Luckily, the legs were pretty easy to get off. It was just a task that I didn't expect to have to do. The second and super annoying thing that I didn't think about was taking the refrigerator out of the room because, and I guess the fridge is so old that we didn't really remember having to do this when we moved it in, but we had to take the doors off of the refrigerator in order for it to fit through the door to get it into the hallway so I could easily do the floor underneath it. So I had to figure out how to remove the doors, which it really wasn't that hard, but it was uh, interesting figuring it out at first. Uh, and then, of course, moving it was a bit of a pain. But those were the two major challenges of clearing out the kitchen. Okay, guys, so I finished taking uh, everything out of here. I'm going to take the oven out tomorrow when I put it on the floor because I don't think there's going to need any repairs underneath there. Um, and then that way we can still use our oven today. Uh, I have to take off the quarter round, so I have to take off all this stuff here, and I have to take off the tiles, and because it's, they're sticky, like I don't want to lay the floor over top, because you see how it's coming up right here? So if I lay the flooring over top of that, that's eventually going to cause problems with the new flooring. So I need to take this off. The problem is, is because it is sticky tile, um, so parts of it aren't sticky because you know over time dirt and stuff got in it and just removed the stick, but only up until a certain point. So if, if you see this, like if I try and pull this off, it um, it's still stuck, <laughs> like it's still sticky here. So I, this is gonna be a pain, a pain. This is gonna be a pain. Um, but I have a heat gun that I had for a different purpose uh, for my business and I think it'll work to take off these tiles. I'm hoping it'll work because, uh, yeah, this is going to be a job and a half. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start. I will do a fast recording of it so that you can see the progress. And ugh, this is what I was talking about. These feet here trying to get the tiles cut properly around those feet are going to be fun, but what can you do? It has to be done. I'll figure it out. 
obviously I did it the last time I put the floor down. I just don't remember how. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's, uh, ugh, it's gonna be a job guys, a job taking off this floor. I can't even begin to tell you guys how annoying it was to take up the kitchen floor. So initially I thought what I was gonna do is take up the tiles I had put down and then I was gonna fill kind of some of the cracks in the other tiles just so that I could uh, easily lay down the new floor. But as I was taking up the tiles, I realized that the other tiles underneath it were also coming up. So I had to take up both sets of tiles, which luckily I could do pretty much at the same time. But as I was going through taking up the tiles, luckily I had a heat gun and it helped loosen the stickiness of the tiles, but it was still such a pain. So I started doing it by myself and realized that it was a way bigger job than I had originally expected. So then my husband came to help me and it took us six hours, six long, painful hours to take this floor up. I honestly didn't think it was gonna take that long, but uh, luckily my husband helped me. I I, there's just no way. There's no way I could have done it alone. It would have killed my body. As it was, it was pretty painful. Both my husband and I were in agony by the end of it. But uh, I'm glad I took it up because the floor underneath uh, didn't need to be repaired in order for me to put the new floor on top. So thankfully there was that. So as you can see, I started doing the filming after I finished the first row of flooring around the radiator because I started filming initially and then it was taking me so long that I just stopped filming and literally almost gave up. I'm glad I didn't give up but it was <laughs> I was very close. It was so stressful and frustrating. I wasn't really sure how I was going to tackle getting around those legs especially where there's the four legs that are really close together. Uh, it, it was really difficult. I'm glad I didn't give up, but uh, yeah, it, it almost killed me. <laughs> but the rest of the floor was fairly easy to put down. Uh, there were a few tricky areas, but for the most part, it was okay. And I'm really happy that I persevered and got it done because I absolutely love the new floor. take me two days and it is taking me three. I'll get it done today. I just have that much to do. Uh, the thing that caused me a lot of problem was the radiator and literally I almost gave up because it was hard to get everything kind of cut around the feet there. Um, I know there's still like some large gaps in here that I'm gonna fill in, but from a distance, look. It doesn't look too bad actually, but honestly that took me hours. 
I laid down a couple pieces and then I had to take them up. And you really have to do them in, in sections. It was kind of a nightmare. Um, but I did it. And now I'm gonna finish up the floor. And uh, yeah, wish me luck that it actually gets done today. one day to take off the floor and then two days to put it down. Uh, I just finished the trim and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, compared to what it was, check it out. Honestly, I know I said this earlier in the video, but I was about to give up with that stupid radiator and its legs. So I'm glad I didn't because I love it. I'm so happy. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And as always, be sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when I post new videos. Okay, guys. Have a great day. Bye.